Tax season can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. To help you file and get the most for your return, Matthew Kidd joins us live this morning. Uh, hey, Matthew, you are a Michigan CPA member. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So let's just start. What, what are the big things folks need to know is that deadline? It sort of seems off in the distance right now, but, but we know it's going to come around real quick. Yeah, so the big thing I tell people is to get organized and to get started early. Tax filing starts on Monday, which a lot of people won't have the documents that they need, um, particularly if they have investment accounts. Those may not come until late February or March. Okay. But for those of you who do have your information together, get started early. What are some and differences? Early is better. <laughs> what are some differences this tax season? Uh, we were talking about that a little earlier. So in many ways, it's a return to normal. Okay. Um, most of your COVID expiration or COVID related laws have expired. Um, so a major thing was the expanded child tax credit. That's decreasing back to $2,000 this year. Whereas last year it was at $3,000 or $3,600. The other things that expired were the untaxed unemployment. And also a lot of people were still recovering their stimulus payments through their tax returns last year. So in many cases, people may be seeing lower refunds this year than they have in prior years due to the expiring COVID provisions. So what's your suggestion? How can we make the most of those tax credits and deductions? <laughs> yep, so I'd say the biggest thing is to work with a qualified tax professional, um, whether that be a CPA or the enrolled agent. If you go to micpa.org, you can see a list of qualified CPAs. Um, and also if you're lower income, the Accounting Aid Society in Metro Detroit, they will prepare your taxes for free if your income is under $60,000. Um, so that is a great resource to yeah. ensure that you're not missing anything. What are some common mistakes that you see every year? So I'd say the biggest thing is what you don't know. Um, so most of the time, especially with your online tax preparation software, you'll enter the W-2 correctly, you'll enter your W-9 or 1099 correctly, but you may be missing some of those other deductions. For example, if you're a teacher, getting the above the line deduction that teachers can get, um, or ensuring that you get all of your qualified business expenses. All right, well, we, uh, as you mentioned, tax season starts on Monday. I gotta ask you, I'm a bit of a procrastinator myself. <laughs> so are, are you gonna be filing on Monday or are you ready to go? Uh, we're ready to go, but we don't have any client information yet. So ah. nothing's going to get submitted on Monday. <laughs> all right. All right. But at least we're starting to talk about it uh, before that deadline comes around. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>